A dashing bodyguard is stealing the new South Korean president's limelight. Stuff here paints all sorts of different types of artwork, including Korean drama themed pieces. What drama is this from? That is supposed to be you uh, in from Chicago typewriter. See, there's a typewriter at the bottom. Oh, look at that. Follow stuff on twitch.tv slash hollyback to get in on the action. K-pop music tonight, you guys. You don't want to miss it. I, I think I'm painting some Ghibli too. More headlines have been published around the globe on internet websites about the new president's very, very handsome bodyguard in South Korea. The president is Moon Jae-in. The bodyguard's name is Che Young Jae. Is that correct? That is correct. And it's the former bodyguard. He's not the bodyguard of the new president anymore? No, because once he became president, he was actually transferred to the... Ah, the, the presidential secret security. So this guy isn't part of the presidential secret security then? No, this guy is a... Private citizen who worked for the candidate running up to the day that they did the vote. He volunteered for the candidate. Yeah, he worked for free? He worked for free. His wife, and he's got two kids. Sorry to burst your bubble, people. <laughs> but You're he, bursting my bubble. <laughs> he care. worked for free. He put his business on hold. He got... 10 of his comrades from the former special forces to go and work with him and they provided their services for free after he found out in February that there was a potential terrorist plot against Moon Jae-in. Yeah, Moon Jae-in was super popular. For those of you who don't follow politics, and probably that's the majority of you, the man who won the presidency was our preferred candidate, for instance, was actually a very popular versus the other people that he was running against. So this guy volunteered to go and offer protection services for the candidate who actually won. I mean, it's sort of like a childhood dream come true for him, and he's like a real-life hero, sort of. Well, he definitely is a real-life hero, and how many people are going to give up their job and seriously volunteer their services in a somewhat life or death situation for months on end to support the presidential candidate that you want. Let's look at some photos, shall we? Handsome former bodyguard photo number one. Yes! Look at those chiseled cheekbones. That jawline though. That aquiline nose. It's a little pixelated, this photo. We need a better high resolution one. <laughs> Next photo. Okay, there he is with the president. He's ready to kick some ass. Look at, so the president's on the right. There's a gentleman in the middle. I don't know who that is. And then the bodyguard is there next to the cameraman with the light. He's like, just, he's so ready to just jump on anybody who tries to attack the, whatever, the candidate at the time. Yeah, I think that next to him is actually the chief of staff who is also part of what they call the handsome brigade, which is what they're calling the new president and his squad of very attractive or formerly attractive people. Next. Oh yes, yes. Now they say that they're in Korean drama land. Like they ha always have these really super cute bodyguards and it's like, well that exists in Korean drama world. It doesn't exist in this reality. That's an alternate reality, but no, it exists in this reality too. And this is that guy. It's almost like the people in South Korea continue to get more good looking. Am I the only one that's noticing this? Next. Yes. Yes, darling, yes! <laughs> Supposedly there are actual calls for him to be in a Korean drama now. Oh, like they're, the, he's, this guy's new future career is set. They're, they're ringing him off the hook. They're like, <laughs> we want you for this movie. We want you for this TV show. Next. Oh yes. Oh yes, that is a man who is very aware of his surroundings. And he looks a little bit younger there too. He's right there with the new president. I mean, he's in the inner inner circle. Well, and he's very intelligent and he's also very good at what he does. He was in the special ops for 10 years and he was teaching counterterrorism in like Lebanon and the UAE. So yeah, he was, he was also doing some uh, peacekeeping efforts. So like this is a guy who's very militaristic. He's got this mindset. He knows how to do his job and do it well. You don't mess with this guy. You just don't fuck with this guy. Oh, that's why Moon Jae-in hired him. Next. That oh. must be him went back in the day. Oh, look how cute he was. There, there you go. What you were just saying. He was in the special ops, and that's him in his military uniform. 
baby face. Last photo. Last photo. Woo. There you go. Now that's something that you haven't seen yet. <laughs> no, he's got a great smile. You haven't seen him smile yet. He's got a great smile. Forget about the pecs. <laughs> I'm overlooking the pecs. I'm like, oh, he's got a great smile because that's what my eyes are drawn to. What are you saying about this new bodyguard? Comments. I'm kind of disappointed that he's no longer going to be the bodyguard because unless he gets in Korean drama world or whatever, we're not really going to see him all that much. And I want more of this bodyguard in my vicinity, in my eyesight. He should automatically be part of the Korean Secret Service now. What do you guys think? Comments down below, click the like button. Thank you for supporting us. Click the bell for notifications. Check out the link to KGAL. Don't forget to subscribe for more Hollywood back news. That's it, we're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye.